guys, we are back with the F100 after yesterday's driving video. We're gonna do another one, and oh boy, yeah, you can see it's just filthy in here, man. Oh gosh, this is the dirtiest of the engine bay's ever been. But what good is it having a badass car if you don't drive it? So that's where we're at today. So we're gonna take this thing on another cruise. The guys over at Heat Shield, as well as my buddy Nick Lang, set up a really cool mountain road cruise. We're getting a way later start to the day than we wanted to, so we're definitely running late. But we're gonna hop on the F100. I'm waiting for Marcelo to show up. We're gonna hop in the truck, head up to the meeting spot, and then head out. We're gonna pretty much meet at the first meeting spot for this cruise. But it's a big mountain road cruise. We haven't done one of those in a while. You guys love the last mountain run cruise that we did with this thing. We were just beating the snout out of it up in the mountains. We're gonna do something similar to that today. So I'm gonna hop in this thing, pull it outside, and get the GoPro set up. We're gonna go for a drive. Less than 12 hours later, filling up again for the third time in like 30 hours, 32 hours. So I've probably driven this less than 100 miles since the last time I filled it. Let's see how much it did. This is also like the cheapest gas station around here. And I think this is probably gonna take, it's like half tanks, probably 30 to probably closer to 40 bucks. Not even an hour's worth of driving is like 40 bucks in this truck. It's just stupid. <laughs> yep. And there's 30 bucks. See if it goes to 40. I think it's gonna stop at like 35. This is almost a half tank. Oh, yep, there's 35 bucks. God. Wow, did you look at that? I went on the dot. $35. That's the cheapest drive I've ever had in this thing, man. Oh my gosh. We probably have to fill it twice today. So, all right, let's go. I remember one time I was here, and the second I started, I had three people jump when they were filling their cars. It was actually really funny. It felt kind of bad, though. But that's what I was saying, when it's like daily drivable, it's like, if you don't care what other people think, then screw it. But sometimes you kind of just, you're like, ah, that was a little much. This thing does have a pretty aggressive startup. people than I thought. This is sick. Heck yeah. We got Bill's Bronco, dude. Look at those two. Well, we can't be going around corners too fast, right? <laughs> He's got a bed full. <laughs> I haven't seen Kevin's bullet in so long, dude. This thing's so nice. It's a dialed line up, dude. I'm gonna try to be somewhat towards the front, but we've got some pretty good cars. Look at these Camaros. The Fox body, too.
Pressure's dipping because how thin the viscosity is probably I'm looking getting. Why. Everybody else has got like 50 miles and you got like 300. I know. In yeah, the I, same distance. Yeah, literally, yeah. 100%. We so, watched you guys right after we parked. Like, boom, 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 boom. Oh, so we went the wrong way. Well, not everybody, I guess, had the spot. I sent it to a few people, but I didn't think I could drive fast enough to get the group this separated, but apparently I can. Pretty so. good. Pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Well, the problem is half the guys are up there. Okay. And I think one... Oh my god. Hey, everybody's in the same spot. I know. Apparently, they were all here and watched us drive by. Dude, the observatory's that way. I know. I think this was like a sub spot they wanted to shoot a drone shot at. Oh, okay. And nobody knew that. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> all right, little update. Back sweats and back... But I can't talk today. Back sweats and check. <laughs> Chuck's doing good. Like I said, you probably saw, I don't know if you probably couldn't see it on the gauge, but up and like, when you get on it really hard, the oil pressure gauge is kind of like doing weird things. So I don't know if it's the gauge is bad. Oil is getting kind of thin because how hot it is because I haven't ripped on it like up a hill. This is like a big hill. I mean, you can see how big this hill is. You know, we were down at the lake and we came all the way up here. So that's a long distance to pull a hill for. That was being on it pretty hard. I mean, I know it should take it, but yeah, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it. I could probably, you know, I just have the fans running. I'm letting everything cool off. I think the viscosity is getting a little thin. So I might want to step the weight up to a 40 weight oil instead of a 30, 1030 instead of a 1040. But my old motor ran a 2050, so I never had this kind of issue. So I might be kind of pushing that boundary of wanting to go into the next viscosity level, but it should be fine either way. Like I said, we're pushing it really, really hard. But that's one of the things that I wanted to test this motor for is if I can go to like Laguna Seca and run a road course, could it handle it? And that's really kind of what I'm trying to do. It seems to be doing pretty well, but like I said, and when I say oil pressure dipping, we're seeing like it dip to 50. Usually it's at 60 65 so I'm not it's not like oh it's dipping to zero you know freak out the world's ending it's nothing crazy it's nothing to really worry about but just something I, that's new you know when you have a little classic car and you're driving it hard and some some things start doing different things you just kind of you take note of that so but yeah everyone's here you can see it's a good lineup you can kind of get a little better shot of who's here now I wish I had my Mustang man last time I was on this mountain was with my black car Nice. See, my black car still made it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're halfway. We're on like pretty much the peak of the mountain. We're gonna go up to the observatory, which you're familiar with observatories. The, I think this one of the second largest in the world is here. So we're gonna go check it out. I haven't seen it in a while. I think it's closed already, but we'll still be able to see it. And then we'll do the pretty much the route all the way back down to the valley and then up back into San Diego. So it's a little more driving. I think it is just getting hot, so I think I should either go up and wait of oil for hard summer driving, it is summer, or put an external oil cooler in this thing. So, like I said, nothing catastrophic. We're back up to 65, 70, freaking 65, 70 pounds of oil pressure, so it's fine. Now we're in the downhill section, which means I can't really get on it too hard because now I'm just in the brakes the entire time. God, George is on my ass. <laughs> I have no rearview mirror, so I can't see him, but I know he's on my ass. 
Back down into the 170 range. Temp's looking good, heck yeah. It's probably gonna get colder as I go down this thing because I'm not really on it as hard. <laughs> Coincidence at all? I don't know. Playing poker. Yeah, I might have cheated. 
I, don't, I just ended that? up with a man. They just showed up with my hand. <laughs> hey, what do I win? Oh my god. Hey, we got a win. <laughs> doesn't even take me seriously anymore, man. Anyone to have any fun around you? That's pretty good. Somebody had a full house and a poker run. That's pretty good. First hand. You might just basically like first hand in a game of poker getting a full house. It's pretty good. <laughs> Laptop having everything. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Best day at work ever. Best day at work ever. Best day at work ever. Very nice. Thank I got you. rollers for you. Yeah, what a guy. Hell yeah. We have made it to the motherland. Beautiful. Oh God. Are you ready for the best part of the day? Yeah, burgers. <laughs> Just like that, done with another badass cruise. I wanted to give a massive thank you to Nick, as well as Chris for putting those, that cruise on. That was super fun. I want to give a massive thank you to all the guys for coming out. That was a big turnout. I was not expecting that many people. That was fun. Get your friends, get a group together, doesn't have to be a special car show or event. That's literally what this is. This was literally Nick and Chris setting up a cool cruise. Nick set up the route, so massive shout out to you. And uh, just put it together and go do a driver shit. It's fun. Gave us an excuse to take this thing again. Like I was saying, you know, I've been driving this thing. We put like 300 miles on it in the last two days, which is awesome. We're gonna get back out of this week, jamming on some other projects, jamming on this car. There's gonna be some updates on this thing, the Galaxy next to me. Probably looking to do some stuff to this in the future. Just make it a little bit better. Like I said, I'm thinking oil cooler is definitely something that this could use. I've never really driven it that hard on a grade in a hill, so I'd stop that's all, that was just new to me. So overall, hope you guys wanted to enjoy today's video. Drop a like on the video and subscribe as always. Go check out your merchandise and out to be company. It would mean the world to me. And like I said in the last video, go check out the Patreon if you want to see all the specs and specifics on the engine and this thing. So full build sheet there, ready to go. So if you guys want to build something that sounds just like this, that's where to do it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.